Hi, my name's Rachel. Welcome to my channel, La Brica Loose. I'd like to talk a bit about construction methods for leather straps. You need straps for all different kinds of reasons. Wrist cuffs, collars, sword belts, bag straps, to hold on armor, closures for cosplays, belts and harnesses and all sorts of accessories, fetish garb, dungeon furniture. I'll show you three ways to make stronger straps. Single layer construction is a simple and cost-effective way to make leather straps. Unfortunately, these types of straps can also warp, deform, and fail when subjected to high loads of tension and pressure. If you must use single layer strap construction due to limited budget or materials, you can reinforce a single layer strap with edge stitching for maximum strength. This diagram illustrates a cross-section view of three different methods for constructing straps with multiple layers for added strength. Two-layer construction doubles the strength of available leather if what you have is thinner than you need. You can also strengthen thin ornamental leather by backing it with a sturdier leather for increasing the strength of the strap. For the two-layer strap, cut your strips of leather a half an inch wider than you would like the strap to finish. Glue them together with a rubber cement and then stitch the width of the presser foot away from the edge. Trim away that excess so that your edge stitching runs closely along the cut edge. This leather and chain body harness could have easily been constructed with single layer leather straps. But the fact that it is made with a two layer strap construction adds a level of quality and durability to the piece. For the double layer bound edge method, cut one strip of leather slightly narrower than the finished width of the strap and cut the second layer with enough extra width to provide the self binding edges. Glue the two layers with a rubber contact cement and then stitch to reinforce the bound edges. In this image, the front side of the strap is shown at left and the reverse side at right. In making this gorget, Caitlin Farah Smith used a dark brown oil tan leather for the body of the piece and orange pig suede to self bind the edges of both the gorget itself and the straps. If you have enough material to do it, the three layer strap construction can turn an ornamental thin leather into an extremely strong strap. The most difficult thing to reconcile is how to cleanly finish the end of the strap that goes through the buckle. This is the template that I use to cut, fold, and glue the strip of leather that comprises the top two layers of the three layer strap construction. I always use the end to the left marked strong because that method of construction provides more stability to the end point strap. If you use the right side of the template marked weak, the result looks the same, but the resulting end point has a tendency to curl away from the buckle. Here you can see the front view of the three layer end point, the side view showing the folded front edge, and the backing layer, and the back view. Here's the three layer strap in action, supporting a sword and scabbard as part of a set of costume armor and weaponry. So evaluate the project you're working on and decide which method is best for you. Whether you go with single layer, double layer, or triple layer straps, you can make a construction choice that will strengthen the piece.